Okay, this video is in response to your self-analysis over this weekend. Um, I've been reading and a lot of people have had the same problem. And that is the idea that when we do compound interest and start to change uh, the amount of time that we have or the interest rate, but most importantly, um, the amount of times we compound it. So whether it's compounded in terms of half yearly, quarterly, monthly, daily, so what we want, what I was going to do is I'm doing some more examples just to show you exactly what we mean and and, com and do some comparisons here. So remembering our compound interest formula, that didn't seem like it was a problem. People were starting to remember that formula, but it was in the ap actual application. So this time we've got forty five thousand eight hundred dollars, and we've got an account that pays nine percent per annum interest. And what we want to do is what's going to be this amount what amount is this growing to over 10 years if the interest is compounded differently so if it compounds half yearly well what basically what that means if we got nine percent per annum interest every half year would mean we'd have to uh, divide our nine percent by two but also that means that if instead of 10 times it would be compounded it gets compounded 20 times so there's there's a difference our rate of interest would halve but our amount of time uh, amount of number of terms would inc would double so and if we do that calculation i think i've done the calculation correctly it should be 110,456 dollars and 50 cents so that's what that would amount to if we compounded it twice a year as opposed to every uh year so the second one, if it's quarterly, well, quarterly means every four, four times a year, which means that our interest rate, we would divide by four. So we'll just get rid of that. We'll get our pen back. So we divide that by four. But also it means if we're compounding it four times a year, so instead of 10, 10 times, that would now become 40 times that we would compound it over the, over the life of that uh, investment. Putting that all into the calculator, that gives us 111,531 dollars and 40 and 65 cents. So that's what that one would grow to. So we're seeing well, it's a little bit better if we compound it quarterly, which makes sense because it's really compounding more times at the same interest rate, but but heart but power are divided by four, but we compound it more. Basically, the more times you compound it, the better. So obviously, hopefully, you're thinking that uh, monthly now means that we're going to divide our interest rate by 12 because we're going to we need an interest rate per month. But also, instead of 10 times, we're going to model, we're going to do that compound interest 120 times. So this is where our calculator comes in handy. We really don't want to do this by itself and the formula really starts to be powerful. So that comes out to $112,272.15. So again, a little bit better to compound it monthly. It was better to compound quarterly than half yearly. And if we applied... Uh, per annum with putting the principal and the rate of interest as, as 9% and 10 years, I think it would be much, these ones would work out much better again. So hopefully that makes a little bit clearer of what we need to do to our interest rate and our number of terms when we change how many times we're going to compound it every month, uh, every uh, situation, in every situation rather than per annum.